Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into a Warhammer build focused on damage. You guys know here on this channel, we love to focus on damage, we love to focus on CC, mobility, builds that are really just all about trying to get in there and get the job done. So we're going to focus on, like I said, damage today in this Warhammer build. A lot of people don't realize how much damage you can actually do with this weapon and how fun it is to actually go this damage build. So we're going to show you guys, like you said, in one second about this Warhammer build. Let's jump into it. So in today's video, like I said, we're going to jump into a Warhammer build that's very, very strong for damage in PvP. A lot of people underestimate how much damage you can do by going 300 strength and then about 250 constitution. If you can reach those levels, you're going to have a great, great, really damage as well as sustainability uh, with that 250 constitution. We are going to focus as well on some of the abilities that we're going to be running. So we have this first one, Armor Breaker. This is actually something we're not going to be focusing on. It's definitely not a bad option if you guys are looking for something other than the Mighty grab, the mighty Gavel, I should say. Uh, but you also have the Wrecking Ball, and then you also have the Clear Out. So depending on what you're going for, if you're in a war scenario, you obviously are not going to be going this full damage Warhammer build. But if you're looking for just open world content or maybe duels, Warhammer can actually be very, very useful with this simple build. So we're going to start off with going Hammer Time, which is going to actually gain in power on heavy attack, increasing attack damage by 10% for 4 seconds. From there, you're actually going to have a couple different options. So we're going to have increased armor penetration by 10% for all Warhammer standard attacks, which is not a bad option, depending, obviously, if you're going against what you assume to be a heavy armor, maybe heavy or medium armor. If you're going to get something like medium or light armor and just need to be able to do a lot of damage very quickly and not really needing that armor penetration, we can actually skip that. But we'll come back to that in a second. The big thing that we're going to focus on is actually Mighty Gavel. So an overheading leap attack that crushes down on enemies dealing 140% weapon damage. We're actually going to take that. And if we continue on farther, we can see that Summary Judgment increases damage done by Mighty Gavel attack by 30% to targets under 20% health. It's going to be a very, very strong attack. Uh, also, Impact Fracture, so increases stamina damage dealt by Mighty Gavel by 25% damage. Or, sorry, 25%, not really damage there. But you're going to be able to see, like I said, here with this damage and uh, really just providing huge, huge amounts of uh, kind of AOE damage actually as well. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Then we have the Expedite. Expedite after a successful Mighty Gavel attack, gain haste, increasing your movement speed by 30% for three seconds. It's going to be very, very big if you guys need to continue to move around. I will say Expedite's not needed as well. You can also kind of take this one apart and jump into a different passive, but it's going to be up to your gameplay. For now, we're going to take it. From here, we're going to have a couple different options. So we're going to want to go to the Crowd Crusher because we are going to be focused on CC. Um, and with this build, Mighty Gavel is going to be your big damage, but you're going to need to CC the target to actually get a Mighty Gavel to hit. So reduce stamina consumption by 30% when blocking melee attacks is not a bad option, but we're going to probably focus on increased physical and elemental armor by 5% for enemy and or every enemy within 5 meters. Because with the Warhammer, you are most likely going in very, very hot. You're going to have a lot of players you know, very, very close to you. It depends, obviously, like I said, if you're looking for the outnumbered PvP gameplay. If you're not, then you can always go the reduced stamina consumption because this could be very, very strong as well. But if we're going for the outnumbered PvP gameplay, we're going to take the outnumbered. We're going to go from there with Shockwave. We're going to take both of these. Uh, this one, the trauma of the attack causes weaken, decreasing the damage dealt from the target's attacks by 10%. Very, very strong. And then we also have media, uh, the crater attack. So this, or not the crater attack, but the crater passive here, expanding the effective range of the Shockwave. Definitely needed to make sure you can actually hit the Shockwave because this is going to be your the longest CC ability. And uh, it's going to be very hard to hit if you don't have that. From here, we're actually going to go to the Path of Destiny. A lot of people don't realize what the Path of Destiny actually is used for. So Path of Destiny is for, you know, big, big groups of enemies, obviously. The idea of getting them just kind of slowly, uh, you know, CC'd very, very quickly. Um, but at the same time, you have to realize it's going to be a very dodgeable spell. Uh, with that in mind, though, you have to keep uh, realizing that it's all about just wasting their their dodge roll. It's all about wasting their stamina, and that's what Path of Destiny is going to be so good for. They usually will dodge twice to make sure they don't mess the first dodge up, and that's something you can take advantage of with your Shockwave. Then going in and doing your Shockwave, and then continuing with the Mighty, Ga Mighty Gavel, you'll see how that combo can lead to a lot of damage very, very quickly. Obviously, heavy attacks as well on the 
Warhammer do have a fairly large lunge as well. So that'd be a great thing to keep in mind. If we go over to the crowd crusher, we can actually see there's a bunch of different uh, different passives that we can go with. We're going to start with the juggernaut side of things though. So exhaustive attacks, all Warhammer abilities applies exhaust. So this is going to be very, very strong against people going light armor or anybody just focused on mobility. Exhaustive attacks going to be a huge deal. We're going to take that. We also have quick recovery. Reduce Warhammer cooldowns by 7% with heavy attacks. Could be very, very strong, depending if you are able to get those heavy attacks off. I do like quick recovery because we are going to be focused on getting justice for all. We are going to need some more passives on this side of the Juggernaut table. So we have power through pain. For one second after taking damage, deal 20% more damage. This is absolutely huge and necessary if you are able to hit a mighty gavel after possibly getting attacked. Also, you can use this, you know, with your shockwave. Anyway, you need to do damage after being dealt damage. So keep that in mind. For one second after taking that damage, you need to understand that that's when you need to strike with your, you know, your big hits. Um, something you can take, but uh, something that's kind of hard to utilize. So you can take it or not take it. It's up to you. As we continue forward, though, we do have contem uh, contemplation. How do you even say this one? Contemptation? Contemption. 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 I don't know why it was so hard to read. I was kind of saying compl comp comp detent I'm not even sure what I was going with, but contemption is definitely one that increases damage done with heavy attacks by 15% to targets under 30% health. If you need to last hit somebody with a heavy attack, this could be very, very useful. We also have hardened steel, so adds grit to Warhammer heavy attacks, making them uninterruptible. That's going to be the most important, obviously, to continue making heavy attacks viable on the Warhammer. From there, we're going to take Justice for All. If you guys don't know what Justice for All does, while well, pressing a basic attack during Mighty Gavel to add a second attack that deals 180% weapon damage. So keep that in mind. It's going to be very, very strong in that second attack with Mighty Gavel, making the Warhammer do tons of damage. So one thing to keep in mind is, you know, like I said, the heavy attacks are very, very important with this build. You're going to want to keep those going so you can actually get those cooldown reductions. And then keep in mind as well, you have grit on those heavy attacks, so they cannot be interrupted. Uh, it's going to make you very, very strong, very, very hard to deal with. And we're also going to have one more passive you can take from here. If we actually go to the crowd crusher side of things, we have, I can do this all in a day, which reduces stamina consumption. We talked about that one. Reduce damage taken while sprinting, which is not a bad option as well. You know, 10% is not too, too much. We're going to be focused more on damage, so we are going to skip over that. We have 15% damage against targets affected by Warhammer debuffs, which could be very, very strong. The only thing is right now, if you look through, we do have, you know, some CC, but we don't have much actual slow. So we don't have Aftershock. If you have Aftershock, it's going to be very strong because with Aftershock, uh, the crowd control effects are actually going to slow them by 20% for four seconds, which would be that debuff. But, you know, there's so many different options here. So after two light attacks with the Warhammer, debuff durations on you are reduced by 25%. That's not going to be the one we want. We also have gain haste, increasing movement speed by 10% for two seconds after hitting a target with an active debuff. So there's a lot of different possibilities here. Like I said, there's going to be a ton of different options. But with Concussive Impact, you are going to get this after CCing a target with your shockwave or even your path of destiny the big combo here now is with this really build um, there's going to be a lot of different options like i said you're going to want to continue to get your heavy attacks in for cooldown reduction as well as using and utilizing that crit as well as lunges that you get with warhammer if you go to the crowd crusher side of things you see shockwave you see path of destiny with these you are going to get that cc off which is going to be very very strong with concussive impact uh, so that's just a couple things to keep in mind when you are playing this build. It's going to be a very, very solid damage build with the Warhammer that a lot of people don't realize that, you know, it's a possibility. Uh, you can actually go damage with a lot of these weapons that people think are just tanks and constitution builds. Um, you know, they are going to be, you know, probably a little bit stronger in wars and those things uh, when you are going constitution. But this is definitely a fun damage build to try out in duels and open world. So let me know how it goes. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.